this episode illustrates the need sometime to take some risks to disrupt a battle. So I'm going behind this IS-3 on purpose and drawing his gun barrel towards me. And he does so. Ring around the collar, that's what I call that. And then I circle back and try to avoid getting damaged. And I'm not successful. The Panther 2 hits me. Nevertheless, I'm not dead. And uh, there's some fun ahead, for sure. So that IS-3, my little move there might have helped him finish him off quicker. And the moment he's dead, I'm going back for more. Now, beneath uh, that ridge at the base, there is an opportunity to uh, get into cover. If I pick the right moment to move forward. And away we go. I don't know why I went this way, but it turned out for the good. Oh, I think maybe because I realized those guys were behind a building and they couldn't shoot me. And fortunately, I spotted the Hummel, or somebody spotted him. Yeah, I think it was me. And I get an opportunity here to finish him off. So next step is to keep these guys ahead of me illuminated for my teammates. And this little ridge here is beautiful because it keeps you from getting hit. Now I have to be concerned about the 110 so I'm going to circle this way and hopefully we'll eliminate the Panther 2 and the Nashorn that's behind him. And Now that the Artie's dead I, I don't have to be as uh, concerned about my movements but unfortunately you can see the 110 is on his way to disrupt proceedings so hopefully we'll elim eliminate these people here before he arrives so that he cannot reinforce them before they're destroyed. So the clock is ticking. Uh, you've heard me say that over and over again. Um, I think at this point Cowboy realized back there that something had to be done before the 110 arrived. And we're pressing the issue but we can't be too aggressive because there's still active there so I get to the next building to keep them under observation if possible and as you can see this battle could go either way there that's good news now the Nashorn is still there somewhere and uh, oops there he is in, a, in that little uh, crater it's sort of like a child in a sandbox there now, Cowboy's being real smart here, uh, sneaking right past that 110 to finish that thing off. And now the fun begins. Um, if that 110 stays away from the red line, I can have some fun with him. Uh, the bad news would be is if he, he uh, gets close to the red line and prevents me from maneuvering this sluggish vehicle. But if he stays away from the red line, it'll be good. I just have to pick my moment here. And of course, Cowboy and I are in constant communication to set this up. And there's my opportunity. And it's time to pincer him. Set up behind and say, what do you want to do, Buster? Do you want to take on me, or do you want to... Go after Cowboy. Now, there's an unfortunate thing coming up here. He sets Cowboy on fire, regrettably. But I'm still bothering him. And this thing is pretty soft in the back. I wish my gun did a little more damage, but can't have everything. I do have a high rate of fire compensation. So this is bad news here because he's too close to the red line for me to circle around him. See that? So I said, oh shit, I gotta run away and I just know that I'm going to die. But let's look at Cowboy's situation and he has a friend coming. So let's look here. And I told him to back up and retreat towards the T-34 who's on his way. And looks like he's below the horizon and that thing can't hit him so he's working his way backwards to fall back on strength which is always nice and now he's able to turn around and get away so
So we've got three vehicles versus one, and the fact that they're not split up and able to support one another. Actually, four vehicles. My bad. But this guy is getting pickly wiggly there, he's getting a little impatient. We've got the pincer. That didn't go well. So Cowboy has to back up again. And that's going beautifully. Fall back on strength. And you don't die. And I don't know why my clicker isn't taking me to one of those guys. There, Cowboy just bit the dust. Here we are. And the coordination there was, was not as good as it could have been. All four vehicles could have assembled and possibly destroyed that thing without losing a single member. There we are. Game over. Good, good job, guys.